my muscles were, were working, so they filled my legs with blood. You know what I'm saying? So uh, when I went to the max muscle, the guy was like, um, I was telling him I want to buy, purchase an Explode. He's like, yeah, an Explode is a good product, but it has a lot of caffeine. Sometimes there's ephedrine in it. Um, gives you heart problems, a lot of sugar. So he was like, try this product right here. Um, it's the same. It's a little cheaper, and uh, it's my, a, lot of, a lot of people that come through here get the same results. So I just, you know, I picked it up. It was about ten, fifteen dollars cheaper than you know, Explode, and I ran with it. You know, just started taking it um, while I was doing my rehab exercises. You, uh, start, you started taking it in April of 2007. Mm -hmm. How long did you take it? I took it for about two weeks. I take it. I took it. Yeah, about two, two and a half weeks. Okay, so you took it from April. Um, so in other words, that only during the month of April of 2010. Uh, not just then, because uh, as well after I fought, I ended up fighting again. I fought Fei Zhao. I lost, I lost the, I lost my belt to Fei Zhao. Had surgery again because my ACL was my ACL was gone. So after the surgery. Yes, sir. Had September of 2010, so five months later, four months later. You got surgery in September 2010. Yes. Did you start taking it again after the surgery? Not after surgery. Well, after I could do rehab, but as far as like ankle weight stuff, and I could actually put weight, do weight bearing exercises. That's when I, I started using it again. Okay. When was that? Uh, that was around 2010. October. About. Late, late, late to mid October, something like that. October 2010. Yeah, yeah, 2010. Okay, so you took it then uh, throughout the rest of the year, 2010. Uh, not the rest of the year, just, I uh, just, just for about uh, three weeks, two or three weeks. Okay, did you take it in 2011? I didn't take it in 2011. Not at all. Uh, until later, until December, when I'm uh, late, early, uh, about mid December. That's what I took it again. So you started taking it again in mid-December, is that right? Yes. All right. So, uh, excuse me, is that 11 or 10? 11. Yeah. 11. Okay. So you started taking it in mid-December of 2011, and how long did you take it then? Uh, I took it for about a week. That was, um, that was, let me explain that. Um, I went to Brazil, trained with Leo Machida, then went to Austin, Texas, and was doing some boxing. Came back to um, AKA, where I trained at, and I noticed that... I had another problem. I had like an extension problem. I couldn't really flex my legs. So I was like, okay, let me, let me hit this rehab again. Did leg curls, leg extensions. I did step ups. I did everything. And I, t I took the SMS sling gainer because that's just what I always do with rehab. Um, did it for a week. Noticed that my leg was, my leg was uh, still the same and my knees started getting more swollen. So then I went to a, I went to a um, ortho and the ortho asked for an MRI. Got the MRI done. He read it to me, and he was like, um, your ACL's been torn for a while. And he's like, but the thing that worries me about your knee and this caused all the swelling is your unstable cartilage. And he's like, you need to be cleaned up ASAP. So um, then he drained my knee, put orthovisc in my knee, which, is, which was like a, um, it's kind of like a lubricant, lubricant um, anti-swelling to work. All right, when did you go to ortho? I went to ortho. Um, Middle of December 2011, yeah. and that's when he said, you know, stop rehab, stop everything. Your knee is in need of surgery. Because it's, it's it's beyond the rehab. Cartilage is unstable. It was grinding. You're talking leg curls, like the same thing. You know, um, anytime I put extra stress, I need stress on it. It would swell up. He said, um, just stick with the training. He's like, do a little biking, ice, but he's like, don't do anything like the like the leg curls, leg extensions, because it's bad for your knee at the moment because you have the HDL and the cartilage is unstable. All right, well, I want you to kind of stick with my timeline for a little bit. Okay. You said that you started taking it in December of 2011, right? Mm -hmm. Mid December. And you took it sometime, I think, before Christmas. Is that right? I took it, yeah, I took it before I came back from uh, Austin, Texas. So it, and it, did you come back from Austin, Texas? I, it, it happened in the first week of uh, December, I believe. Okay, so first week of December, you're, you're still taking it into December, then you take it after Christmas. Uh, no, I didn't take it after Christmas. All right, when did you stop taking it? When was the last time you took any of it? I only took it for a week, so I took it right when the... 18th. I stopped, I stopped taking it as soon as the doctor said, hey, your knee... 18th. 18th, okay. He came back from Austin on, on the 10th. the doctor on the 15th. He said somewhere around the Yeah, it was, I, I don't know the dates, but the doctor... As soon as the doctor said, hey... I'll tell you this. He came, he came back from Austin on the 11th, and... 
we went to see the doctor. The MRI was done on the 23rd, and it was done three days, two to three days before, you know, like before we went to see the doctor. I mean, after we seen the doctor, so around the 20th is when we went to see the doctor. So, Commissioner Lundell has asked you, what period of time in December did you actually face Between the 11th and the 19th, so in, in that week. And then after you had your MRI, did you take it again? No, no, I didn't take it again. No. What, what were you taking as far as uh, after you went to the doctor? Uh, ortho bisque, which which was an injection that the doctor gave me, and um, that's about it. Um, some anti-inflammatories, you know, to leave. Uh, uh, you filled out a pre-fight medical question here before your fight injection, did you not? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, uh, there's a couple questions on that pre-fight questionnaire that ask you what kind of prescribed medication that you were taking. You recall that? Yes, I do. You said nothing. Well, I said nothing just because I was there myself, and my manager was there, and my manager had a, the whole whole list of everything, and he came late, so I didn't know everything that was I was that was actually injected into my knee by my doctor. Yeah, but you knew you were taking something, though, right? Uh, yes, you're correct. All right, and you also said that you were taking some stuff over the counter at that point in time, correct? Uh, I don't know what I only know what I, I put on the on the um on the questionnaire, I don't remember. But no, we didn't put anything on okay. I, I was the one who filled out the questionnaire, and, I, and you know, my apologies. Orthovis that he was taking was a lubricant that was administered into his knee. Um, There's yeah. no apology for falsifying as far as the information on medical questions. Yeah. So, uh, my question to you is, did you sign this medical questionnaire then? Um, after it was filled out, did you not? I, should, I did, I did. Yeah, can you understand English? Yes. And you read English? Mm -hmm. And you knew that as far as by signing this, that the uh, information on this medical questionnaire was supposed to be soon correct, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, do you have an email address? Uh, yes, I do. All right, and do you have a personal computer, um, or at least access to a personal computer? Uh, yeah, I do. All right, and so do you search the web for information that might be pertinent to, like, the training practices or the training procedures? Uh, I, well, here's the problem with in the MMA. The problem Do you search the web for information that might be relevant or pertinent to your training? And, um, my friend. Um, no, I have coaches that, when it comes to training, I have coaches that help me do all that. And do you count on your coaches and give you that type of information? Is that right? As far as training, yes. I don't have any questions. Any other questions? Daily basis.